Welcome to Texas Senior Softball Podcast. I'm your host, Cameron Warren, the podcast that sometimes gets created. Guys, I apologize. Um, I've stepped away from the game since October 5th, I believe was my last tournament. And, uh, I'm sorry, September 5th. Wow, I don't know when the hell I played last. But, uh, I've stepped away from the game because of my elbow, trying to uh, relieve some of the pain that I was in. In the process of doing that, I stepped away from the podcast to try to distance myself because every time I did this, I wanted to play. And guess what? I'm wanting to play again. Uh, So I'm going to try to be out there for the upcoming tournaments, a couple of upcoming tournaments to uh, finish the year out, and then I will be done for the year. But I am going to try to continue to do the podcast on a regular basis and uh, quit dropping off like I have in the past. So today may be a little on the long side because this is going to be a catch-up podcast. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I am going to try and get caught up with what has been going on and what we have coming up in the uh, near future. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that. Since I've been out and have not been to tournaments, I really can't talk much about how they have been, what, uh, what's what been going on because I've been out of the game. I have not even swung a bat since my last tournament. Um, although I did get a pure bat in for an, uh, a, a raffle that I won. It's supposed to have been here in, what, July 1st was when they were supposed to get them. And I just got it like two or three weeks ago. Uh, beautiful bat. Thank you, Jason Torres, for getting it to me as soon as you could. Uh, understand there's some massive issues there. But anyway, let's get into this. September 12th was actually, I believe that was the last tournament I actually played in. Uh, that was that double tournament, uh, one entry fee, two tournaments, a single elimination, a double elimination. That tournament finished off with Renoco, Grinder Cutting Edge winning it, Slinging Wood second, Texas Bullets third, Project X fourth, Texas Rush fifth, Weekend Warriors took sixth place. Guys, I actually enjoyed that tournament. Yeah, my team went 0-3. Yeah, I went home quick and early, but I had a good time in the tournament. It was a cool idea, uh, made for some interesting games. Every game we were in was close. I thought the competition was pretty good that weekend. Um, congrats to Slinging Wood. They fought through some a long day. Uh, congrats to Renoco. I think they lost one game. They lost to Slinging Wood, I believe, in the uh, double elimination bracket. But I'm not positive about that because it's been so long ago. October 4th uh, was the follow-up tournament from the, that one. Texas Rush won that one. And t- uh, Vivid 40s won their division. The Freaks took third. And Silverback Softball took fourth. Now the, the Texas Rush was AAA. Vivid 40s, I believe, played as a majors team. The Women's 35-plus was the A team taking first place. And the second place went to the Lady Bullets. Now, the upcoming tournaments. The uh, You know, we had a tournament this past weekend. The Chula Memorial Tournament. The Mike Rogers Tournament. Uh, we had all different age divisions being played. I know they posted the finishes to those tournaments. But for some reason, I can't find them. Uh, so, gentlemen, all the guys that participated in that tournament... Uh, I guarantee you, we all thank you. Uh, we lost a great man a what, year and a half ago, I believe. Uh, ran the, the uh, Texas softball style for years and is sorely missed. But from what I understood, it was a great weekend. Weather did cooperate. They were able to play it. Um, congrats to everybody that finished in the top three or four places. I wish I could name y'all, but uh, I can't find it. So I apologize for that. Now, with that, November 7th is our next tournament. That is a Bash for Cash tournament that Matt McGee is throwing in Carrollton. Guys, that tournament, I believe, is pretty much close to being full. I think the men's have one spot left. And I believe, from what I'm looking at, the uh, 35 and over is full. But that I'm not totally positive. Uh, It's a cash prize tournament. $50, $50 per team that's entered. 
Uh, it says right here so far is $1,250. Second place and third place gets money. Fourth place, $50 off the November 21st entry. Uh, and fifth place, $50 off the November 21st entry. So, there we go, guys. First 0-3 team out of the tournament. It says come see Matt before leaving the complex. Maybe you get a consolation prize for being the uh, first team to go 0-3. Team list is... All the smoke. This is the uh, the men's teams list, guys. All the smoke. Old school. Two one four bullets. Oh, the Texas Bullets has gone to their old school name. North Texas OGs. Natural Disasters. The Bears. Silverback Softball Club. Texas Mafia. Short Bus. Texas Rush. Old Faithful. Players Only. Texas Connection. Texas Bullets, which is now a majors team. Mayhem Clutch, which is now a majors team. Silver Bullets, Project X, Vivid 40s, Major Team, Slinging Wood, Texas Flex, Next Level, and San Antonio Canes, Renoco, Grinder, Cutting Edge, which is Majors, Evil Savages, and Not Forgotten, which is Majors. We have one spot left, gentlemen. One spot. Somebody jump up and take that one spot. Also, that weekend, the women's 35 and over is being played. Um, they have the North Texas Lady Outlaws. Pitches Be Crazy, 4405 Riot, Beautiful Disaster, The A-Team, Oldie But Goodies, Arkansas Fabrication, and Team y, uh, WKYA. Guys, now with that tournament, Matt is throwing some new rules out on the home runs. Um, I believe the majors are going to stay the way it was, which is... Six home runs and then one up. The triple A is going to be a home run per inning. So every inning, triple A team will get a home run. So, guys, if you play six, six, six innings, seven innings, you get six or seven home runs. There will be no one up. It's one home run an inning, and that's it. So use them wisely. Now, when a majors team plays... A triple-A team. The major teams will get their six home runs. They will not have a one-up at that situation. The triple-A team still gets their one home run per inning. They're hoping this is a good equalizer. It's something they are trying. It will make for an interesting weekend, guys. So, gentlemen, triple-A teams, you better not be hitting those solo bombs. You get one per inning. Now, with that said, the... Uh, 40s and the 40s and seniors in Bryan, Texas, November 14th and 15th. Uh, it's considered to be a 2021 can't get here fast enough. And gentlemen, that is so dang true. I'm over this COVID crap. Um, you will be playing with your 2021 roster. Now, November the 20th, 21st, and 22nd in Temple, Texas. Jason Torres is throwing a North versus South tournament. Gentlemen, this tournament is huge. Now, this is not just 40s. This is going to be all divisions. But the 40s are being played. They have already have a pretty good team list going. Um, I've been chatting with Jason this morning since I have the day off. Um, it looks like... Right now, there's eight or nine teams in the 40s division. Uh, rumor has it, Team USA is playing in this tournament. So, that's uh, that will make for an interesting weekend. It'll make for a fun weekend, whoever gets to play those guys. But, as of right now, the 40 list is MVP, Hellraisers OGs, LS3, Texas Connection, Chicken Hawks, uh, okay, there's another one down here somewhere. He doesn't have them listed in order, so I have to find them. And the Maniac 40s seems to be the team list as of right now. Now, we know us for... Oh, Mafia's, Mafioso's 40s is in there as well. We also know that the 40s teams seem to wait till the last minute to sign up for tournaments. So there's plenty of time for these guys to jump in. We're not even in November yet. 
So, guys, all the 40 teams in Texas calling all 40 teams in Texas. Let's make this North versus South an interesting one. Come on, North Texas. Let's go down to Temple. It's only an hour and a half, two hours away. Not that big of a drive. Some of us drive that to Carrollton to play ball. So, uh, let's go down to Temple, Texas, 40s, and let's play some ball. I know we have uh, another tournament. Matt, I believe, is throwing a tournament that weekend in Carrollton. I haven't really seen anything posted on it. If there's any team signed up yet, um, I'm not trying to compete. I'm not trying to push anybody to play either one of the two tournaments. But it looks like the North versus South could be a good one. Uh, once I see what Matt has going that weekend, I believe he does have a tournament going in Carrollton. I haven't seen a, a team list if anybody signed up for it. But, guys, let's go out on November 7th. Let's have a good time. Uh, I am going to try to be out there for a change, play two more tournaments, like I said at the beginning of the podcast, and then shut it down. But, uh, guys, I've missed it. I've missed seeing all y'all. I've missed being out there. Let's, uh, let's finish this year strong. Look forward to 2020. If everything goes well, I'll be able to swing a bat mid-2020. Be back out there playing. I am going to try to keep the podcast up. I will try to come out there and look, watch some tournaments while I'm uh, on the injured reserve. Looks like if everything goes well, I'll be able to actually play the field and throw a ball again in 2022 when I'm 50. Maybe I'll need to go find a 50 team to play for to get on the field and actually be able to throw a ball around again and enjoy myself. But guys, stay young. Keep swinging for the fences. See you on November 7th.